Welcome, Cancers. I'm back, y'all, with another video. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do um, a general read, guys, for the week of November 1st through the 7th. All right, so if you would like to check out your monthly reading for November, those are posted already. You can go back and check those out. Um, this is going to be a weekly one, so we can get a little closer, you know, figure out what's, you know, do a week by week thing. As well, guys, I am going to continue the What's the Tea series, okay? So, the, over there, we get a little, might get a little messy. It's for fun, okay? Um, and whoever can catch the message, if it's for you, then it's for you. But we're going we gonna to take it there. All right? So, stay tuned, guys. I'm over here bundling up my sage. I'm restocking, guys, because you guys completely sold me out of everything um, when I ran the sale on the 30th. <laughs> Y'all ran me out of stock. I didn't have anything left. So I'm grateful for that. I'm extremely grateful. I want to thank each and every person who purchased. Thank you so much for believing in me and supporting the vision, okay? This is going to help make the channel grow, all right? As well, guys... Um, everything will be back in stock within the next couple of, I would say about a week or two. Um, everything will be back in stock, okay? And I'm working on a lot of new things. A lot of different oils are getting ready to come to the website. All right, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right. What message is there for Kansas for November the 1st through the 7th? November 1st through the 7th. What message is there for my Kansas? All right, Kansas, this is it. All right, we got the Ace of Cups here at the bottom. Okay. The Ace of Cups, ooh, and the Six of Wands right after that, okay? All right, so let's see. All right, it's, it looks like the Four of Cups and the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, and so it's like if they ain't talking about any business or they ain't talking about growing or expansion, I don't think y'all want to hear it, but let's see. We got the Queen of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the world. See, a lot of y'all are wrapping up chapters. This full moon brought in a release, and a lot of people are letting things go and closing chapters. Okay, because I just got this same energy for Pisces as well. Okay, let's see what we got. What's going on here? All right, so... Are you hoping that they're jealous? That someone is jealous or gets mad? <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking. Like, I'm just looking at it. And I'm just, I'm calling it like it, like I see it. But your energy is the Queen of Wands. And what's crossing that is the Five of Swords. <laughs> Why is the Queen of Wands here? Leo Sagittarius' this energy. Uh, lead. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. I'm seeing Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Definitely Aquarius here with the star card. But nonetheless, we're going to read the energies. Queen of Wands. Okay, Four of Swords. Okay. You're thinking about your next move. Trying to outshine. Do you feel like somebody's trying to outshine you? Or but I got you guys thinking of your next move. You're trying to build up your confidence. You're working on your confidence. You're working on your boldness. You're you're working on your tactics. You're in your head a lot too. Yeah, you're in your head a lot. So you're thinking of your next move. I'm getting Leo's energy really heavy. Ooh, somebody is super codependent. 
Somebody is possessive. The devil and the four of pentacles. And you don't want to break up or don't want to hurt someone's feeling or don't want to apologize. Someone has been, uh, may have some type of issue. It could be a mental issue. It could be an emotional issue. But somebody here is kind of like either codependent or very clingy. Um, I'm getting that type of energy. Like somebody depends on you or you're depending on somebody else. Okay, look at this. We got a spa. Either you're watching a, comp a competitor or a competitor is watching you, but I feel like this is you guys' energy. You're watching them on the internet. Why is the world card? In? Yeah, see, look at that devil and that three of cups. Somebody drinks a lot, okay? The devil, for sure, for sure, and the three of cups, what are they doing? <laughs> They're having a good time. They got their cups up. The devil is an overindulgent. Okay, when somebody's kind of going like overboard, you uh, probably want someone to stop drinking or this could even be drugs. But you want a chapter to close. I'm getting like you want somebody to stop. We got the Empress here. Maybe you want someone to stop drinking so you can get pregnant. Maybe you want to get pregnant. Some of you with the two of swords may have had some type of complications that, oh, okay, you don't want that to be the final decision. You don't want that to be the reason why. Okay, so why is the Empress here? The Ace of Cups, right. Okay. It looks like there was a big argument or disagreement here. Possibly with someone that's older than you, a male, or someone who's kind of like, you know, very pushy or kind of can come off as controlling. But I'm getting this disappointment, okay? And you're waiting on this person to apologize to you and tell you that they're, you know, ready to work this out or ready to work together for, for a higher level of commitment. Some of you want to get married. Some of you want this person to take you more serious. Seven of Swords and the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Look at this devil. Keeps revealing himself. Hmm. I feel like you think that this person is a liar. I think you think this person is a liar. Why is the King of Swords here? They think that they're slick. <laughs> yeah, the Ace of Swords. But you're going to go find out some type of truth. Okay, you want to go do your research about this because you just feel like it's no way. It's not like something just don't seem right. Something just don't seem right. Like the conversation is different. Something about this just does not seem right. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Hangman. Okay, so you were waiting for them to give you some type of information. You were waiting for them to give you more information or more tea. Because it just, maybe you felt like this person was lying or or they were trying to call you a liar. Something to that nature. But I'm getting there's a, there was a conversation um, someone was asking about how someone was doing, okay? Someone might have said, you know, telling them their worries. Um, and I'm getting, I'm just getting that, like, somebody, you were looking for more information. Waiting to get information to find out if someone was lying. Why is the Ten of Wands here?
Okay, so the Ten of Wands is saying that you feel burdened about a situation. The Ace of Wands, this could be a lot of sexual energy. And I'm saying that because I got the King of Wands here. Okay, the King of Wands is Leo Sagittarius energy, but this is known to be, he's known to be the finest thing walking in the room. Okay, this is also like what you're very passionate about, someone um, there's not just a lot of passion, especially put together with these two cards. Like that's a lot of passion. So, so someone here could think that somebody has a whole lot of offers or a whole lot of men um, that they are talking to. I got chariot card here, which is you guys' energy. And then we got the king of pentacles. So someone feels like someone has like a lot of different options. Okay. Someone thinks that someone is, like, doing too much, and there's been an argument. There's been some type of disagreement. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Very aggressive. Like, this person might be all up in your face, trying to force you. Okay, but I'm getting that there's, there's this disagreement again. There's this disagreement. Somebody's getting drunk and arguing or doing some type of drug and getting um, starting arguments or starting fits. It's something to that nature because the devil keeps <laughs> revealing himself. And then it's always in the middle of like a ca catastrophe, like the tower and the five of wands, and then it's the devil. So it's like... Um, there's a lot of bad energy lingering around it, okay, around the situation. Why is the star here? Okay. You hope that this person sees... You hope that this person finds out... Why is the hermit card? Or maybe... You know, the hermit card is Virgo's energy, but they're known to kind of like ghost or, you know, hide. Why is the hermit card here? King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm getting late. Maybe, are you hoping that they find a different other options or... So I'm getting that there's a constant, like they can't let this situation go. I'm getting a Leo here with the strength card, but there's like lots of options. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Eight of Wands, right. King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. Okay, so maybe someone is saying that somebody is using somebody here, but whatever this is, this is somebody who's very financially stable, okay? I'm getting someone who is older and very well established. You having a conversation with someone who's very established, okay? Or this is what you're looking for. This is what you're hoping that you can find, okay? Or someone is telling you that. Three of Cups, yeah. Okay, so there may be, you know, a, you know, you chilling and sitting together with friends. Um, and this is the conversation that gets brought up. This is something that, yeah, it's something that you think about. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Because I want to elaborate on, okay, so maybe you're waiting for this person to, you know, get upset so you can put them out. You can put them out or make them feel rejected or make them feel low because they possibly made you feel low. Why is the six of cups here? They're looking at the past. Focused on the past. Got Scorpio's energy with the death card here. Okay. And they don't wanna they're they they don't wanna have any regrets. Okay. We got the King of Cups and the Chariot. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, they don't want to argue. They don't want, they don't, they, <laughs> or they aren't sure why you're mad or they don't want other people involved or everybody involved. Um, they do want to move, they want to move forward. They don't want to look back at a situation with regrets. 
So maybe they could be feeling like they're overreacting. Why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, the Two of Swords. Okay. Four of Wands. This is a home life. This is marriage. This is taking things to the next level. To the next level. Maybe they are uncertain. Okay. Because I'm kidding that there's an older man here. Does somebody have a sugar daddy? <laughs> I feel like you feel like you'll be good um, financially because we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. You've possibly already been planting your seeds. And then we got the Knight of Swords as the outcome. Yeah. See, some of you are planning on running off. <laughs> some of you are planning on running off in... Uh, you planned it out. You you planned it out because it looks like you're going to be abundant, okay? And you're going to be self-sufficient, independent, taking care of things on your own, okay? Because I feel like you know exactly what it is that you want, but do they know what they want? Yeah, see, your intuition is telling you that this is about to end, that this is about to go real sour, Okay? You may feel like this person is hiding things from you, like they're playing with you, like this relationship is possibly like on again, off again. There's always like a breakup or a split. And like you just feel like you can just feel it, like things are possibly getting ready to shift. Yeah, see, the devil here, he goes again, okay? And I think that this has to do with somebody who drinks or something to that nature because it's the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Um... This emperor is either someone older, this could be like a father, a brother, an uncle, or someone who is older and more mature. Um, but this person has some money, they're stable, they're, they have them, they're wise, they're very wise. But I'm getting like asking someone to leave. But it's just like you just have this feeling like I have to get me together or get me situated because I may have to put this person out or... I may have to put this person to the side. Someone's talking like really negative or talk. I'm getting talking down. Talking down on you. That's not going to fix the issue. The tower, the tower, the temperance and the five of wands. Okay, the tower is saying that this these two cards, the five of wands and the tower, is letting me know that it's came out multiple times in this read that there's some some type of complicated situation. The temperance card here in the middle is saying that somebody wants it to, you know, not be that way. Somebody wants to find a resolution. But I feel like there's some, you know, clearing the air that needs to be done because it looks like there's uncertainty from both ends. It looks like you're trying to catch someone in a lie. It looks like they feel, I don't know if they're someone drinking or doing drugs or, or is very possessive or obsessive, but I'm getting that type of energy from them, okay? But I'm feeling like your intuition is telling you that this could go really, really bad. So you're trying to get your ducks in a row for just in case. Like you're trying to brace yourself, you know? All right, guys, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm going to chat with y'all later, all right? Until next time, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe, like, 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 share with your family and your friends, okay? Until next time.